Hello friends. Today, I'll show you how to use the Flux Continuum workflow for Comfy UI, a powerful modular interface that brings order to image generation pipelines. What makes this workflow special is its dual interface design, a consistent front end where you control everything, a modular back end that you can customize and experiment with. Let's start by setting everything up. First, clone the repository into your Comfy UI custom nodes directory. If you already have it installed, make sure to update it using the Comfy UI manager. Now, let's launch Comfy UI while we download the workflow. Let's copy it using this button and paste it into Comfy UI. If you have any missing custom nodes, use the Comfy UI manager to download them and restart. Great, let's configure our workflow. Press two on your keyboard to access the config panel. Here, you'll need to set up your models. Don't worry if you're missing some. I'll show you where to find them. Here, you will find all the models you need and instructions on where to download them to. Let's switch back to the main interface by pressing one. Let's start with a basic text to image generation. Select text to image from the output selector in the top left. Type in your prompt and click Q prompt. Notice these LoRa controls. They work across all modules, same with the IP adapters, which we'll explore later. Oh, so cute. Now let's try image to image. Copy our output image. Select the load image node and press paste. Now choose image to image as an output. Then adjust the denoise. And finally, run the queue. This created a slight variation of the input image because we had the denoise set to a lower number. Let's explore the image pre-processing tabs, which allow you to modify your input image before generation. First, activate the Sharpen tab by selecting it and pressing Ctrl B. Do the same for the Color Correct tab. In the Color Correct settings, try reducing the contrast. To preview these changes, select Image Load Prep from the Output Selector. This pre-processed version of your image will be used as input for image to image, in painting, and other image-based operations. Now let's take a look at in painting. First, select in painting from the output selector, switch to a different tab in the prompt node to use a variation of your prompt. I have one prepared earlier. Now let's create a mask in the image mask node. Let's set the denoise to 1, and we can increase the mask feathering to 200 for better blending. This workflow is powered by the Black Forest Labs fill model, and they recommend using a guidance of 30 for best results. I have prepared a preset for you here. I've just pressed enter here to run the workflow. You can bind custom shortcuts in the Comfy UI settings. Now, let's take a look at our preview node. The preview node is really handy because it shows us all our image inputs at once. This is especially useful when working with IP adapters. Notice how each IP adapter slider matches up with a different load image input. You can fine tune each one separately. Note that the sliders are all set to zero, so the IP adapters have no effect right now. That turned out great. Let's move on to outpainting next. Since we already applied sharpening and color correction earlier, we can disable those nodes. Use Ctrl B to toggle nodes on and off. Let's select the pad node and hit Ctrl B to enable it. Let's add 256 pixels to the right side of our image. Now, let's select output prep to preview the padding and run the workflow. 
Next, let's choose Out Painting. And finally, run the queue. Fantastic work, my friend. That's it for this tutorial. We've covered all the basics. Let me know if you would like me to make another tutorial that covers the rest of the modules and features. Happy creating, my friends.